Hello everyone, I'm Nan Ziyang, a third year PhD student at Xidian University, China. Today, I will be presenting our work, Attacks Are Forwarded, Breaking the Isolation of Micro VM-Based Containers Through Operation Forwarding. This is a joint work with Zhejiang University and Tencent Security Yunlin Lab. Okay, in this talk, I will first introduce some background knowledge. Second, I will use a real example to introduce the operation forwarding attack. Third, I will discuss more real cases in two popular micro VM based containers. And fourth, I will show some mitigation discussion. And finally, I will conclude our work. Let's start with the background. Okay, the native container on the left side is an OS level virtualization, which allows multiple user space instances to run on the same kernel. Well, the same shared kernel doesn't provide strong isolations and carries lots of vulnerabilities. As a result, people propose micro VM based container on the right side, which run each container inside a lightweight virtual machine. The micro VM based container provides a dedicated guest kernel for the container to enforce strong isolation between containers. Thus, it benefits from both the security of virtual machine and the efficiency of container. Okay, cloud vendors such as Amazon AWS and Alibaba Cloud use micro VM based containers to isolate different workloads from multi tenants. More specifically, Alibaba Cloud ECI uses the Kata container and Amazon AWS uses the Firecracker based container in its Fargate and Nevada. Okay, the micro VM based container is widely used in multiple scenarios. The components of micro VM based container can be divided into three layers container runtime components, device emulator, and the host kernel components. Specifically, the container runtime components are introduced to create and manage the micro VM based container. The device emulator is a host user space program that simulates hardware. And the host kernel components are loadable host kernel models to provide virtualization support. Okay, let's start the, our attack. First, let me clarify the threat model. We assume the attacker can create and manage one or more micro VM based containers through container management requests. Moreover, the attacker can run any program within the created micro VM containers. Both the host and the guest are running most security practices in deployment. So what's the key idea of operation forwarding attack? Although the micro VM based container and the host machine can be regarded to, as two isolated environments, we note the components of micro VM based containers style rely on the host kernel to serve its functionalities. Specific operations are forwarded from micro VM based container to the host kernel through different passes which include the guest kernel, uh, guest syscall to host kernel function, and guest syscall to host syscall, and container management request to the host syscall. And some of these passes miss permission checks or rate limitations. Thus, a malicious user can leverage these passes, which we call operation forwarding passes, to exploit the host kernel and make attacks, which we named operation forwarding attacks. The this attack breaks the isolation of micro VM with severe consequences. Okay, we use a real attack with a CVE to illustrate the details. Kata containers leverage the word, LF, word LFS to share directories and files between the host and the container. Word LFS forwards the guest syscalls to host syscalls through the word LFS daemon. If a malicious container requests to create a new file with SGID permission bit, the WordLFS driver in the guest kernel intercepts the guest open and forwards it to the WordLFS daemon. After that, the WordLFS daemon will make a host open system call. And the file creation request enters the host kernel and invoke the inode init honor function. Okay, the inode init function, uh, the inode init honor function determine if the SGID permission bit of the creating file needs to be shared. Note that the word, uh, word LFS daemon run as the host root user and has the root group in its supplemental group by default. 
and it is, which is the same as the directory owner. As a result, the file creation request inter the, well, as the file creation request passes the in group check in line 10, and the created file keeps the host root SGID bit line 12. Thus, if the created file is executed by a host normal user, the file will be executed as the host root group permission and make a privilege escalation. We report this bug to the WorldFS driver developer group and they assign us a CVE. Okay, we have known that the improper operation for wording passes can introduce attacks, but how we systematically find more attacks? We designed three strategies to achieve this. The key idea is leveraging the operation for wording of each layer components to improperly call host syscalls or kernel functions. First, an attacker or an attacker controlled container can trigger the container runtime components to make host syscalls and exhaust host vulnerabilities or exhaust host, uh, exhaust host resources. Second, the malicious container can force the device emulator to invoke host syscalls and the exhaust host resources. Third, the malicious container can forward its operations to host kernel functions through host kernel components and generating uh, out of find workloads on host kernel threads. Okay, let's discuss more real cases with different strategies as shown in this table. For the cut container, besides the WordFS daemon escalation, which we have discussed before, we also launch cut container sturdy memory attack, NF contract table attack, and we host a net attack. For the firecracker based container, we launch a privilege escalation, which named which we named Firecracker Container D escalation and Firecracker's dirty memory attack, Firecracker's NF contract table attack, and the KVM PIT timer attack. Okay, let's start with another privilege escalation in the Firecracker based container. Due to careless checking of the container runtime component, a malicious user can exploit the Firecracker Container D container runtime component and forward the create VM request to host this call, change on and create with improper parameters and make a privilege escalation or crash the host. For the privilege escalation, we specify a craft host pass in the create VM request. More specifically, we specify the m.host pass to this pass. Okay, the first one, this pass. After that, the fail pass.join join the pass to root dash fail name without any check. In the bind mount fail to join function, the destination is root dash fail name and the fail pass dot there is root. And after that, the os dot, dot change on function changes the dash root directory owner from root to a normal user without any check. Okay, the second one. And the normal user now can get the privilege to access the root directory. This is a privilege escalation. And, uh, no, sorry. For crashing the host, we specify the host pass to this pass. And the fail pass, fail pass join points to the host ld.so binary fail. And the os.create truncate this fail to zero without any check. The host cannot run any new apps now and crash the host. Okay, both the cut container and firecracker suffer sturdy memory attack. The guest syscall write is forwarded to the host write in these two environments through different components. And a malicious user can repeatedly trigger these operation forwarding passes and make the malicious container exhaust the host sturdy memory. While well, the dirty memory is shared between the host kernel, after that, all writes in host are converted from write back to write through and downgrade the victim container's I.O. performance dramatically. This is the operation forwarding passes of Carta container. The guest write is forwarded to host write through WordFS daemon. After that, the WordFS daemon's write syscall quickly occupies the 30, 30 pages through the shared memory and make DOS attack to another victim container. 
This is the operation forwarding process of Firecracker-based container. The guest write is forwarded to host write by Firecracker, which is the device emulator of Firecracker-based container. After that, the Firecracker's write syscall is quickly occupies the data memory through the disk image file and make DOS attacks to another co-host microVM-based containers. Both the card container and Firecracker also suffers NF contract table attack. More specifically, the guest syscall connect is forwarded to the host kernel by WayHost Net model of the card container or device emulator of the Firecracker-based container. After that, the guest Ethernet frame is forwarded through the host CNI bridge and write an atom in the host's net filter table. OK, by repeatedly triggering this operation forwarding passes in these two environments, a malicious container can fill up the host NF contract table and make the victim container drop packets randomly. So this is the operation forwarding passes of card container. The guest, con the guest syscall connect is forwarded to the Wayhost net temp send message, and the temp send message send the Ethernet frames to the CNI bridge and write an atom in the host NF contract table. Okay, this is the operation forwarding process of Firecracker-based container. The guest connect is forwarded to host send message. After that, Firecracker sends the Ethernet frames and write the item in the host NF contract table. Okay, card container can exploit the Wayhost Net kernel model to generate out of band workloads. More specifically, a malicious container send message and receive message syscalls are forwarded to the Wayhost Net, which is a kernel model, and trigger the <coughs> host kernel functions, hand TX and hand RX. Okay. Accordingly, a Wayhost Net kernel thread is wicked up to handle the above requests and charged to the host root group. As a result, by repeatedly triggering this path, a malicious container can generate much out of band workloads and make DOS attacks. The Firecracker based container can also generate out of band workloads through the KVM model. The Firecracker based container writes low level IO ports throughout B and makes the KVM model wake up the KVM PIT kernel thread to handle the PIT do work kernel function. By repeatedly triggering this path, the malicious container can generate much out of band workloads and downgrades the victim CPU performance dramatically. Okay, let's try to give some mitigation. For the container runtime component, you can jail the container runtime components or disable the sharing files system. To protect the device emulator, you can use SRLV pass through devices or add real or add read limitations to a specific device emulator. To protect in host kernel components, you can try to attack the host kernel thread to proper C groups, or you can disable some functionalities of host kernel components to mitigate the risks directly. Besides these methods, you can also use some monitoring tools to detect operation forwarding passes and operation forwarding pass attacks uh, and operation forwarding attacks. Okay, let's try to summarize our work. In this paper, we demonstrate the operation forwarding mechanism can be exploited to break the isolation of micro VM based containers. An attacker can leverage the micro VM based container three layer components to launch attacks with severe consequences. Okay, thanks for your attention. Any questions?